Good day, and welcome to session six. Who remembers what happened last time? <laughs> it's been hmm. two weeks. Oh, Vic does. <laughs> there is a surprise. Way! <laughs> to some degree. This is what we come here for. So, uh, last time, Ovik started off by, uh, getting, working hard in a blacksmith and creating a shield. Um, finally managed to get it done within the day. Um, coming into the after lean evening sort of time, made his way back into the market square, where he found everybody eventually gathering around, um, an Otis board. Um, believe that they had found a quest um, to go and escort some caravans to um, the other town that I don't remember the name of other than level up to Pam Pai. Pam Pai. Pam Pai. Pam Pai. We spoke to Pam this. We spoke to the guy that was giving us a quest and he, he made us sign this um, agreement. Um, just to make sure that like we don't kill anybody but uh we managed to get some things added to that, just in case we came across goblins and the goblins managed to kill people. We wouldn't be responsible for that, just because he promised us we weren't going to come into any goblins, you know. So yeah, uh, after that, we decided to go to the um, like caravan port and uh, try and get our get on our way as quickly as possible, considering we kind of trashed the bar, and I don't know if we're going to be that welcome there anymore. Uh, so yeah. Uh, managed to convince the people that we were escorting that we were going to leave that night. Um, I went and bought a horse. Um, nice big horse, strong horse, strong enough to pull me along. And a, and, and a relatively dainty cart, but good enough for me to make a little bed out of some hay and a, and a robe or something. Um, and then we set off. Um, made it quite a, quite a way along our journey. Um, and then encountered or came across some uh, some goblins surprise surprise <laughs> i mean i was shocked i was shocked so uh jumped out of the cart um i didn't want th i didn't want these goblins shooting at our um uh, at our escort so decided to charge at them and just intimidate charge and roar in their faces try and draw as much attention um as i did so uh dig dog Leo, the sneaky little half orc decided to bring out his fucking battle axe and uh slice a couple of dudes in half um, massacred them. tilda had some spinny fan flamey things and threw them all over the place and i think maybe hit something um emu basically exploded some people with his bare hands. Um, uh, what? Her bare hands. With her bare hands. Apologies. Um, Gorm, I believe, uh, has shown some of his uh, battle prowess, finally. He didn't uh, run away and throw up anymore. Which was welcome. That was good. One of these uh, goblins tried to escape, run away, um, but ran into his own leader. The leader wasn't very happy about this deserter, and so uh, speared him through the chest. Um, and eventually we, well, chase, I say chase down, we threw long-ranged attacks at this, uh, this goblin leader, and um, it's just as easy as the rest of them, to be honest. <laughs> What you're missing out is the <clears throat> Hyper Nuke Tilda Unleashed <laughs> yes. player of Holy Vengeance against this man. And then Emu nicely finished the job. I just saw a red flash. Oof. Emu's a monster as well. So yeah, uh, I, 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 I've got a mission. My mission is to to become a bit of a blacksmith. So Tilda likes my shield, so I think I'm going to start building some more stuff. Maybe some better armor. So uh, I went around looting all the bodies and found a bunch of these uh, like scimitars and a couple of things to pick up. And uh, later on, I think I'm going to forge them into some armor. Uh, and I also found a pouch on uh, on one of these guys, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what's in that. Dun, yeah. Dun. Yes, I love I love your your um 
your rundowns, Ovik? This is just completely off the top of my head. <laughs> Probably this <laughs> No mention uh, of workers. That's true. Uh, no mention of workers. Um, I wonder why. I only do the things that Ovik notices, okay? Yeah. I also wrote down the word necromancer because. Uh, <laughs> necromancer. The cat is a necromancer. Right. Yes. Snacky cat. Snacky, snacky, necro cat. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, is there necro. anything else anyone wants to bring up? and, Or shall we. Jump into it. Sorry, well, I said my therapy tea. that uh, you may might need, to be honest. Hmm. <laughs> pretty, pretty beat up. I just meant for the raid issues. <laughs> <laughs> well, and before, before we yeah. left, before we left, I went to fucking back to the hotel where Talk was, and I was like, "Yo, we're leaving. No, we're taking the box with us. So stay here or don't. I don't really care." Yep, that's yeah, right. He seemed busy, didn't he? Yeah. He was praying. Yeah. Preoccupied. Yes. Mm. In the mm. bin, Mangy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my puns are bad. They are. <laughs> I have so, no follow up. Yep. <laughs> that, that's that's fair. Uh, I'll move just to the thingy map. Why not? Um. So yeah. Do uh, you uh, Woo. Um. <laughs> so what I was gonna say is it's it's kind of up to you guys if you're wanting to have any sort of chats before we just kind of fast forward into arriving at um Pam Pie. I like to have a chat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By all means. So maybe maybe you've like it's you're not that far out from the town. Um mm -hmm. after the battle you've probably taken like a bit of time to, you know, recover as you're all kind of thinking up the counting is you know mark your long rest nonsense and stuff whatever whatever you need to to do for that do that um so yeah eh, what would you what would you like mr Ovec? um so uh i guess coming up to the town i might be sitting in the back of the cart uh reading through um or having a look at some of the stuff that i found in that pouch mm-hmm would uh what would everyone else be doing just then I sat with Borkers, just teaching him some tricks, him ignoring me. Borkers is really bad at paying attention to tricks. He just kind of looks at you every time you try and, um, like, teach him anything, like, his head kind of cocked to one side going, Bork? Bork? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his tongue's hanging out as well. This is my Good favorite dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Borkers is the big bad. Uh, I'm, I'm with him. Yeah, I ain't got no legends yet. Give Borkers um, the box. Um, <laughs> we almost did. If you think back, I mean, yeah, thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I did say, yeah, that dog. How shaggy is that dog? Looking and does it look like I could perhaps hide a box on it? <laughs> I feel like perhaps when you dropped it from your shoulders, it might have sustained brain injury. We already had brain injury. <laughs> <laughs> there was no doubt about that. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I feel like Tilda's maybe I sat at the front of the cart minding the, the horse, then if Ovik's busy, like, reviewing, sure. you know, maybe Emu's keeping the company up front, maybe Emu's just slowly just punching things by the side of the cart, who knows. I think Garmin kind of in his coppers and tending to his fur. Mm -hmm. What was that, Alexander? Yeah. Side of the cart in her mind. Can you go um, fix your browser so that you're set to not broadcast through it? Ah, yes, that's what I was. I was wondering why everything was going a bit funky um, on my, my screen. So, Alexander up in the top corner, cog, scroll down, broadcast, receive, nothing, nothing, reconnect. So, in that case. I'm going to take a, a letter out of the pouch and have a look through it, sort of equivocally. Then I'm going to tap on Tilda's shoulder and sort of lean over the front of the cart. And, uh, I explode. <gasps> <laughs> that one. 
And I'm gonna... How much health do you have, you like the court. <laughs> Drops out and a tree. Show this letter to Tilda. And I sent you a PM. I see. With what's in the letter. As, uh, as, as Tilda reads that, um, uh, what language is it in? It's a good question. That is a good question. Mm -hmm. It's in um, it's in common like this land common thingy. Okay. Cool. Yeah. My common. Cool. Your common. Is my common the same as their common? For do you know what? For some reason, yes. <laughs> otherwise, it would be common. common. Otherwise, it'd be uncommon, right? Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah, you say you thought common would be common, but then some people are from other goddamn realities. So, but there's a there's a common thread that ties them together. Evidently, called plot. <laughs> I think it's not so much plot as requirement. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do these people understand each other? Universal translators. Oh. Yeah, that's it. So they have one of them. No, the GN does. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's yeah. everyone's like lips are sort of out of sync with what the, everyone's hearing, you know. They... Can I ask a question? Is the symbol recognizable? Calamity. Yes, it's the the one from the the, the first place. The first um, where you first the, saw the top one. one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I'm losing you. Losing me. Oh, there you go. Never mind. I was losing you. I'm now not. Oh my. Are what race are the people that we're escorting? Uh, they were all oh. human, um, ish. Okay. No gnomes. No gnomes. Okay. No gnomes. Oh, we've also named um. The the gnome, hirer guy. Um. Okay. His name is Todd oh, Powers. Man. Todd Powers. Yep. There's a couple of uh, un unnamed places in this. Uh... There is a couple of unnamed places, yes. <laughs> they will be named at some point. Don't worry about it. So, um, um, and Rob... his brother, who you're meeting at the other side, is called Rob Powers. Can it not be Rod Travers? <laughs> well, they're brothers. So... They're brothers. They have to have the last surname. I mean, we don't know how gnome names work. Well, all gnomes are called Powers so far. Okay. In this world. Okay, so we know somewhat how gnome names work. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I think Tilda will take the letter, have a quick scan at it, and then just, I guess, compartmentalize a lot of the info away, and then hand it back to... I think all would say, um, looks like they're expecting us. So it would seem, I think we best be prepared for another potential issue yeah. with our travel. I nod, and then I jump out the cart and walk the rest of the way alongside the cart. Mm -hmm. Just readying in case anything else pops up. Keeping vigilant eye on the surroundings. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, is anyone else wanting to have any sort of interactions before we jump on to Pampai? I do it's just to reach your kill level up, you know, just whenever you've got time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I'm happy just to like, travel. If there's no no horrible there's events no... that happen along the way, I'm happy no. to not be traumatized by them. That's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. Now to move you to the horrible events map. No. Because, <laughs> yeah, I had my chat with a Gorm already. Gorm at the end of the last one. Yeah, so I'm happy to Gorm's leave that. It never happened. I was going to say, I was happy to let that unspool in Gorm's head, but thanks. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that now, because that will just never unspool in Gorm's head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for a silly question here. Did we get any experience at the end of the goblin fight? Uh, we're not tracking experience, my friend. No, okay. We are leveling up um, or after like milestones. And yeah, that, my... I was going to say, milestone XP, we all jump up at when Calm decrees it. Yes. Okay. It's my arbitrary choice. <laughs> Use him all the power. Yes. Yes. 
unlimited power. <laughs> it just made me think of the... Doesn't matter. Right. Back on track. Back in the room. <laughs> Shut up. Limited power! Uh, of that reminds me of this. No, Oregon. okay. That makes me think of this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So you, you kind of... um. As as you kind of like come up to you know uh, Pampai's in sight, sort of, and um, from what you can see, there seems to be quite a lot of smoke coming from the inner like part of the town. Um, please get rid of that, Maggie. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so the way it's sort of set out is it's like there's like two sort of like there's an outer ring and an inner ring, so like the outer town and the inner town, and the, the, there seems to be a lot of smoke coming from the inner part of the, the inner circle is like it the, the clean smoke. smoke yeah i was gonna say is it clean smoke or like impure burning smoke impure mm. um burning smoke like you know impure burning smoke exactly yes like i was gonna try and say that differently and i was like why bother yeah yeah <laughs> is um, there anything obvious from the surroundings of the place like you know a giant army or something or is it just the you turn inside? behind you and there is just a legion of no. <laughs> yeah. um, a legion of level up soldiers yay <laughs> and they walk past you and give you a Star Wars nod and say oh level up no <laughs> <laughs> okay if that's the case if Emu is still being edgy enough to the side um, Emu is probably the fastest independent one of us right so Emu uh, Tilda shouts across to try and get your attention, as we've all probably maybe pulled the carts to a halt. You know, just mm. uh, what I would call a safe distance. Yeah, um, I think the 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 other carts with um containing the the others have stopped a little bit further back than mm -hmm. you guys, because they're like, Cause oh, I, no, I don't want to go, don't want to go where there's like a bunch of smoke and commotion stuff. Ugh. Yeah. Um, so I'll just shut off to get Yumu's attention. But I'll wait and see if we get Yumu's attention. Um, I guess uh, Yumu would just sort of um, lo look at you from sort of side glance, mm -hmm. still sort of taking in the, the sight of the, the town. Could you perhaps go to head without us pulling the entire caravan into danger and report back, if possible? Towns. And then I just walk, walk further in. You see, if I send you, you won't waste time in the town getting distracted by doggos and stuff because you hate town. <laughs> it's why I'm saying. <laughs> 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 the the <laughs> then Gorm got his bagpipes out. <laughs> Three days later. Right, I'm back. Right. Um. No, I don't. I don't know what's going on, but look, I made some money. Okay. <laughs> I'm the king right. of the town now. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I think uh, Orvek would uh, go to the back caravans and start uh, just sort of like keeping watch around them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think they've. Uh, it's it's probably like maybe later in the afternoon at this point, mm -hmm. and I think they've decided that they're they're just kind of stopping here, and um, they're getting ready to kind of just set up and camp out um, mm -hmm. here because the. the can't be bothered going forward in there. Um, I think if you like head over, they just kind of look at you and just regard you. Um, you know, giving you a wee Star Wars nod, and mm -hmm. as they as they just kind of go about their business. Yeah. Um, Emu, do you go and scout ahead? That's the question. Yeah, I start um, off to the, towards the town. If I was faster, I would have done it. <laughs> Here, you have a ring that makes you fast. No, um. I give it to Emu. There we go. Emu is super <laughs> fast. Uh, yeah, so I guess it is. Is anyone else doing anything before we just follow Emu into the town? Um, Dig Dog Leo and Gorm? No, I'm just chilling with Scarp, man. Just... Bork? Um, Bork? I think, yeah, no, like, if that's the okay, case, like, I'll, like, as Ovet goes down one side of the caravan and kind of, like, marches around, I think I'll go down the other side and I'll make sure our party members are aware to be on alert mm. um, so that we don't have our entire party sitting chilling. Um, uh, yeah. So I'll go up to, like, the, like, the back kind of, uh, of the carriages and I'll 
tap on the door a little bit and then like lean up into the window. Be like, there is potential trouble ahead. We should be on alert. And I'll just kind of like nod to Dixie. Right, Bobak's gonna, gonna draw his shield as well. Which way is the wind blowing? Um, the wind is blowing from the north. Is that hitting the caravan? Like, could Gorm smell the smoke? No, so you you you're kind of more to the sort of um westish okay. of the. If you look at the map, I find myself informed to be on the guard. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Emu, um, are you are you just just running down and then going to run back, or um, are you trying to just kind of walk in and not? Draw any attention to yourself, or yes, the sort of is the inner ring, the the inner city town that's the smoke is coming from. Yes, um, it's not it's not a big it's not a massive town either. So it's like it's just like two kind of the outer ring is not um that much bigger for you know it'd be about the size of um like if you think the inner the inner um, city part is kind of maybe the size of, um, like, the middle of Paisley, <laughs> and then the the the, the outer ring is just kind of um. <clears throat> As cold as it is. Mm-hmm, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I think I would like yeah. to um see if I could uh sort of go towards the um, the town. Would I? Would the the caravan company have a like uh, a sign post on their building, sort of to indicate? Yeah, it would be like right, like as like as so you kind of you kind of like go into the you you kind of go into like the the, the, the front gate or the the side gate. Um, I'm, I'm using inverted commas for gate because it's not really a gate; it's more just like a archway that you can walk through. Um. There's uh, the the sort of caravan places like, um, just right as you kind of get in there. So it's kind of the first kind of stopping place you have. You know, the bus station and then the, you know, the weird cafe that's kind of a little bit dingy looking, but everyone seems to go to anyway. Yeah, I'd like to sort of surreptitiously make my way into there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, when you when you go in, you kind of. Uh, you just see there's like this um sort of young uh human just standing there guy and he's just standing behind the desk um he looks kind of he looks kind of like a deer in the headlights um <laughs> monsieur i'm looking for uh, the gnome of the by the name powers oh um uh yes uh see the thing is which one there are all of them. <laughs> this, this is a lot, well, a lot of gnomes. Well, they said there's only like one gnome in the city. So. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's one gnome. Um, because, well, you see, the thing is, um, he's not here. Um, we, I just we, like we... to take my quarter staff and just smack it down on the desk. Um, sir, Bar- please. Where is he? Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He was, th- I'm, I'm just the, the, the temp here. He was supposed to uh, be here three days ago, to so I could go home. But no, he, um, he, he's not showed up. No one's showed up. It's just been me. Where's I don't know where anything is. Causing the smoke in the in the in the town. Oh, there, there was, there was some fires and stuff. But it's, it seems that the, the sort of guards are kind of. Dealing with it, we're not allowed in there now. I'd like to like really get right up in his face with my um, like quarter staff over my shoulder, just really in his grill. Like, Tell me everything you know about what is going on in the city. In the... Oh, um, uh, can you can you roll like intimidation? <laughs> I want I want to see how bad. Badly, this goes for the poor boy. Can I get advantage for coming in all um, hard and fast? Oh yes, 
You can, you can. Ha if I, could, if you could have multiple Oof. advantages, I'd give you it. Intimidation is not very good. Do you have inspiration though, as well? Like, yeah. So you've already got advantage, doesn't matter. There yeah. Um, I think he. Uh, I think at first, like he's just kind of. It looks like he's he's almost like just going to like his like. Uh, bandwidth is being cut off. Um, he's just kind of staring at you as you, you kind of just scare the shit out of him. And he, like, takes a deep breath and goes, Um, well, there was the talk of um, the uh, some, some form of weird r religious nut people um, just uh, setting fires to, to people's um, shops and was it the cult of the world balance? Uh, the, 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 I, what's the cult of the world balance, sir? I'm sorry, don't hurt me. Um. I think he's he just starts like really like physically shaking now, and he's kind of you know maybe starting to kind of crouch down. Yeah. <laughs> um. And just kind of like he's got that sort of pleading look in his eye, like oh my god, just don't kill me. Sort of look expression. So he said that he was just the temp. Um, uh, yeah. So um, he he said, but basically he was implying that he doesn't actually work there. He's just he was just there to mind the shop for a couple of days, and then um, uh, Rob was supposed to relieve him, and he didn't show up. Who else is uh, part of the, the trade caravan in the town? Well, it's 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 all owned by the 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 Powers Brothers. Um, <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> um, it's all owned by the, the 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 Powers Brothers, and I like to think he accidentally said that out loud to see me. Yeah, that was in character. Um, <laughs> I hate myself. Uh, and he goes, um, no, we have lost where I begin and where this guy ends. Um, oh yeah, um, I like that. Right. Can I can I grab him and push him against the wall? Uh, yes. Uh, and yes, Ryan, that is that is now the new Pampai. I like it. All right, isn't it? Yeah, I might just use it as a map. Go for it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can do that uh, as you, as you kind of like grab him and put him against the wall. I think he, he like scrunches up his eyes and kind of like his head's kind of pointing down the way is to just um not face this oncoming terror that is Emu Uxo. I just sit with a very sort of quietly direct. We are bringing in a caravan. You had better hope that Monsieur Powers is back by the time that we return. I just um, let go of and um, storm out. Um, I think we have that as you like storm out, and he like he kind of falls to the floor. Um, kind of in like a, a just shivering intensely, and you know, half crying. I can't wait to see how this guy reacts to all that. <laughs> um, and you know, we maybe see him stand up and uh, you know, straighten up his tie. <laughs> And uh, just kind of stand back behind the desk and just stare at the at the door, um, as as he like sighs out of fear, um, yeah. So uh, as as you kind of go like outside, the it's you know, are you heading straight back to the caravan, or are you gonna head in more? Or, um, hey, Amy. Um, yeah. Probably try and um, oh. be be careful that I'm not being followed and head outside of the uh, Yeah, that's fine. Uh, sorry, was that head up it back to the the caravan or head in? Sorry. Yeah, uh, so I just out of the town. Make sure that I'm not followed. If if I'm not, then. Um, yeah. Um. The, you you don't really see like anyone milling about uh, at the the entrance. There's like most people seem to be either at like the outside of the inner circle or um heading towards there uh, as you kind of like leave and head back to the caravan um 
Yes. So you you gonna get back to thinking? I guess uh, maybe maybe Tilda sees you coming back first. Or oh, what end of the thing were you at, Tilda? No. I'll be set up the front. I yeah. am, since that where it's where I was after I've managed yeah. to make sure a Dixie or a Dig Dog Wheel, sorry, is uh, not a uh, just playing with a dog, and he's actually teaching the dog how to, you know, bark at newcomers that we don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. All I've managed to teach is how to sit on my hair. I, I mean, valid, right? Like, if that yeah. helps us somehow. Yeah. yeah but I've, I've, I've got the fro. Mm, yep. Um, I think, regardless of where anyone is, I just um, sort of go up to uh, talk. I am indeed approached. There was an attack by some sort of cult. Uh, seems that the, uh, the local guards are being uh, handling it for now. The caravan. So something amiss. The contact we were supposed to meet is not there. Is the I'm beginning to get a little tired of that happening? Like I think she quite like, not like meaning to be rude or anything, but she kind of like half talks over maybe the last part of that and says, "Is it still under attack by this cult?" I just say it was too far in. The um, it sound it did not sound like there was any any active fighting, but. It could be pockets holding. Hmm. And you see, like, a kind of look of worry as she, like, stands up on the cart that she's on, um, where she was sitting. She's kind of just looking towards the rising smoke, and she says, I think it's best we unload this cargo while we can before further complications arise. The caravan nears. Such as they are, are expecting us soon. Yes. And she kind of just like nods and she sits back in the seat and I don't know, she's maybe in deep thought at this point. It uh, is probably best that I'm not the one that goes back to the. Uh, to, to deal with the remaining caravan yet. Oh. Uh, and I just probably walk be? back off to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um. Dig Dogly and Gorm, what were you kind of um doing after Tilda sort of told you? Um sorry to zoom back in time a little bit, but um as as um you know, like Tilda sort of told you to the there was like, you know, smoke coming from the thingy and to be alert and stuff. Just just sort of prepping what I've got to hand and just sort of making sure that my battle axe and javelins are in reach. Oh. At a moment's notice, should I need them, you see. Ah. Good. Uh, Gorm? Yeah, like uh, loading my crossbow and stuff like that. Just prepping my weapons and uh, trying to remain alert. You know, sniffing the air and keeping my ears pricked up. Just how he preps, I imagine, for Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> I want that corgi. <laughs> I miss my corgi. Oh. So yeah, um, are you are you all heading into the thingy? Are you gonna camp out with the the rest of the caravan or inform the caravan of the uh, situation? I, I personally, I, I think we should just move in and dump stuff, right, and move on. Yeah. As... yeah. Um, the sooner we get rid of the caravan, the sooner we can potentially get paid and. Move on with our lives. <laughs> Not be struck with these losers that we're transporting. That's the last one I'm going to say because it's glorious. Wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. It's, 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 it reminds me of Big Bird for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing. Right? Oh, it's, it's so good. weird. But anyway, sorry. Um. Yeah, so you you do the the rest of the caravan don't don't follow you. They're, they've they've decided they're camping out for another day. It's probably starting to get a all right. Uh, if that's the evening, case, but... I'm going to tell them no. We're not waiting. We're moving in now. Okay, then I'll back I think. Up with that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, no, yeah, no, yeah. I was gonna say, like, like Tilda is not 
risking another day of this bullshit. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Yeah, like we're we're gonna <laughs> head in. We get the the safety of at least the outer ring of the town. <clears throat> um, I think like sort of yeah. It doesn't take much convincing. I think um, sort of begrudgingly they unpack all the like stuff they put like the tarps between the caravans and um. And you know, maybe some guy kind of puts puts out his little um, fire he was about to start making. Um, I like to think and, he just got it going. Yeah, it's like he's been at he's been at it for quite a while, and he's just managed to get like a little spark. And he's like, right, no, we're leaving now. And he kind of goes. Oh. Like, I just I just feel like a, again, if I'd seen people set up to try and like relax, I'd have been like, well, no, your guards need to be on alert. Right, like, what did they do when we went round the caravan, telling them like, "This is a danger. What are you up to?" Did they just start making camp? No, the um, the 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 guards were kind of staying on guard, but the the merchants were just like, "Right, we're setting up a wee camp there." Because cool, because I tell they definitely would never let them settle. We needed to be okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just no way would she be like, "Let's all just put down roots right now while it's <laughs> you know while we've got a scout out there." Like, if you came back and went, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter taking an extra day. But given that we've already been attacked and now the town's on fire and we've been told, by the way, that the contact isn't there, let's just all have a wee nap. Fuck that. Yeah, that's fair. Sleep helps um, everything. So, yeah, no, they, they, they yeah, big sort of like moaning and groaning getting into their caravans as they kind of, the caravan just starts off again uh, into, the, into the town. Um, I guess you just all like you know birth up in the allocated berth and stuff. You outside the the as uh, I'd say like the little reception part is like right next to where you'd kind of plonk all the thingies to be kept for um mm -hmm. you know sort of like the routine inspection before going into the thingy. But there's nobody there to inspect it for some reason. Yeah, like um, a stable for carriages. Yeah, a carriage stable. Mm -hmm. I like a garage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I like what I said. <laughs> a garage. Uh, sorry, yes, Goran, what were you going to say? I'd like to uh, climb on top of the buildings, the wooden buildings, and see if I can see over the wall. Okie dokie. Um, 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 I'd like to stealth as I climb up. Like, I wouldn't want to just climb to the top and then have loads of people see me if there's people there. Yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah, do you want to give me your, your stealth thingy? And um... Oh, you have a climbing speed, don't you? I have a climbing speed, yeah. Mm, look at me, with my climbing speed. Yeah, I think maybe um, anyone who's about is... Their eyes are kind of fixated on... on um, Maybe between Ovec and Dig Doglio. <clears throat> um, and they all seem to be heading in towards the, like, well, maybe like all two people who you've seen since you got in. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so you can you can climb up onto the roofs. Uh, you you do get like a better vantage point. Um, the you'd need to like kind of head in a bit more. Um, you could just kind of like walk along the rooftops to like kind of the center of the the outer circle and you can you can see over the walls of the inner circle um yeah i'd like to hesitantly do that is there any way i can do that whilst keeping line of sight with the any of the party um from Did from you where you us that you were going to go do it because we might not even know you're gone <laughs> that's a good point yeah um as much as I would like to be able to keep an eye on you, I don't know if I would be able to, quite frankly. <laughs> um, yeah, I told Dick Doglio, and we were both the, the, the lax people at the back, so we were sort of close to each other when we came to alert, and I reckon we were both still within vicinity, so I probably mentioned to him. Yeah. Just like, pssst, and... And then I pointed up upwards, and then he saw me climb. Maybe. Fair enough. Yeah. Did anyone not see the cat go up, or uh, do I have to inform people about this? 
cat's doing this. Um, unless and people are keeping an active eye on him constantly. Um, I'm and... just keeping an active eye on the environment around us to make sure nobody's going to attack yeah. us. Yeah. 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 So if like if that gives us the justification to have a chance to notice him, I will sure, give you. I will. Okay. Yeah. You can you can notice him climb the building. Like, <laughs> that's fine. Um, okay. Unless Where you're actively about... stealthing from them. Yeah, Whereabouts is this caravan place? Is it close it's to the like, inner circle? Or no, it's it right at the entrance. So, like, okay. if you kind of go in, you've got, like, the first sort of spot is you've got the sort of public parking area for caravans and stuff, and then you've got, like, the business parking things yeah. for the things, you know, everyone... All is the, it sort of like the... an outside area, or is it, like, going into, like, a bus station with a reef and thing around it? So, it, I think it's kind of like a half-and-half half thing, so it's like a covered, open... Okay. Um, well, stable, like side stable type thing, um, and then next to that would be the, the sort of reception for for that, and then maybe just like slightly down from there is the kind of, um, yeah. merchants like hotel, you know, like the station hotel, type sure. place. Um, I think that um, Olive could walk up to Tilda and just be like, um, we should guard these uh, passengers until we get our payment, and then head on into the city when we. When we have it, I think I just like kind of gently touch your arm again and just say, "Yes, that is what we are paid for." Orbit. <laughs> and just kind of like laugh a little bit as if it's almost like a completely unnecessary thing to say to her, but she finds it amusing nonetheless because it's as if the situation's changed, but it's not really. Um, and then I think uh, I think I'll just like grip your arm ever so like slightly, and I'll say. I'm going to go for a look around to see if I can find out anything else. I'm Are not... you okay guarding them for the moment? Yes. Okay. I can just nod. I look around and obviously if Gorms went away with walking and what? Yeah, like what's like Dig Dog Leo doing? Because you fancy yourself as a bit of a sneaky rogue, right? So. Yeah. Like, I think maybe Tilda approaches you and I say, Ovec is going to watch the caravans. Do you want to see if you can get into the inner city and see if there is anything we need to be concerned of? And if there's any sign of our gnome friend with our payment? Good idea. I kind of nod. And I say, Good if you idea. wish to go, and then I say the equivalent of clockwise and then anti-clockwise, so we go different directions. Um, yeah. So I imagine I go straight and you two go the opposite. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ground. So you go over and we'll go left and right. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll go left, Diggs, you can go right for lack of a better phrasing. Good idea. Excellent what would idea. you be doing? Um, really trying not to punch anyone that talked to me. <laughs> That's why I never <laughs> went up to you, <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, man. Okay. No, just Emu, no. That poor child. Um Yeah, I think um Ovec the, the merchants and stuff, they're starting to head into like the station hotel type thing. Um, yeah, I'm just staying with them and making sure that I can guard whatever entrances or exits there are to the place that they're they are. Yeah. You know um, which is like more valuable, the people or the transport? boxes or whatever like is it the stuff what was it we were transporting mainly people or well you just your job was to make sure nobody died um yeah those people they they were in charge of whatever their stock is they're just here to like you know sell like okay so we're not in charge from... of the merchandise we're just no. in charge of not death <laughs> yeah that's that's your that's what you were you were hired for yep mm -hmm. I guess I would talk to the guards and just be um, effectively just being their leader, making sure that we cover any entrances or exits to to where these merchants are. Okay, yeah. I, and I think, yeah, they, they, they kind of take your, your word as sort of gospel um, based off the, the the past few days, you know. Um, and they've probably got a bit of respect for you um, and your battle prowess. Um, and yeah, so they just kind of like nod and do basically as you ask. Um, maybe you know, keeping eyes, keeping an eye out. And there's like swapping. Maybe one person goes off to take like 
you know, five, get a drink and some food, and then they swap around with mm-hmm. stuff like that, yeah. Um, I think one of them actually would come up to you at some point and is going, do you want to take five, or...? I'd just say, um, bring me some food and an ale, but I'll, I'll keep watch. <clears throat> and then he runs in and does so. Cool. Cool. Uh, Emu, do you go anywhere? Um, or um, while uh, sort of like Tilda and Dig Dog Leo go off and Gorm runs off on the rooftops? Um, Emu would like to walk up to um, Ovec. Just see. So just uh, kneel down next to him and say to him, would you mind uh, watching over? If anyone tries to talk to me, please just dissuade him. I uh, just sort of like to kneel down next to him and uh, start sort of meditating. Okay, I'm going to place my shield sort of like leaning on it so that it's covering him from majority of you. <laughs> shield Perfect. shade, yeah. Shield umbrella. Right. I warn you, if anyone tries to talk to me, I will probably hit them. I just nod. I don't say anything. Yeah, that's safer, isn't it? <laughs> Star Wars nod. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fun. I like that. I think maybe maybe at that point the, the guy comes out with your ale and um, uh, food of it. And like, mm-hmm. maybe maybe he does like catch a, like, a, a glimpse of Emu, and he like goes to open his mouth as if to I offer a thingy, head. and yeah, he, I think he gets the cue and just goes, uh, okay, and just walks back in. Does his voice break like the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this, that's how that's how everyone's going to be talking this session, I'm afraid. Just because it's your own voice. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Mid puberty, Callum. That's me, caught in a perpetual state of mid puberty. Um. Yes, I think maybe Gorm, you you kind of get the, the the quickest to the sort of inner circle um, type thing. You kind of maybe perched on, like there's like uh, maybe like the the building of some some uh, like housing. Um, as you kind of like look over it, uh, are you just trying to like see what's going on inside the inner circle? And... Yeah, just to get an understanding of what's happening, but I I, I really want to ensure that I can see someone like Tilda or Emu or Ovik or something. Just so like I still have line of sight. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Crept up on you there. Um then uh, maybe maybe um you're kind of like following like the same route as um uh Dig Dog Leo or something. Mm. Um just like on the the higher um obviously on the higher plane. Um, maybe you're a little bit ahead of Dig Dog Leo because you've got a more direct path, um, but yeah, you can you can kind of keep tracks on either. Well, you can keep tracks on one of them. Um, it's, it's I guess it's up to you which one you want to follow. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Dig Dog Leo. Yeah. Uh, do I see anything unusual or suspect at all while I'm traveling down this path? Uh. The only thing you can really notice is there are not a lot of people about. Um, like the, I think maybe like the one person you've seen has just been, maybe just kind of like leaning in a doorway, um, smoking a pipe. Um, but that's like that. That's it. You've not seen anybody other than that. Um, any shops you've kind of walked past seem to be closed. Um, I mean, it is it's getting into evening anyway, but um, but like uh, you know, even like um, small eateries and stuff, they're all closed as well. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna take some turns and head somewhat further inwards. Yeah. Um, and Tilda, you you, you kind of get the same sort of vibe as well. Um, you know, there's not not many people about any any sort of like uh, anyone you do see is just kind of moseying around, not not really walking with any purpose. Um and yeah, I, I guess Dick Dog Leo and um uh Gorm, sorry. Uh, I guess like where you, you get to that point where you can see over the wall. Um and you can kinda of see Dick Dog Leo kinda of walk are you walking running Dick Dog Leo or are you 
just walking. Yeah, yeah. You see Doggo kind of just like strolling along, kind of taking in the sights, you know, of P- Pompeii. Um, and yeah, when when you kind of look over, you see there is like a lot of fire damage. Um, it's kind of smouldering uh, on the inside, and you can see that basically the majority of any sort of official looking guards are in there. Um, kind of, there's both buckets trying to put stuff out, and uh, there seems to be like big um, congregations of people um, like chatting amongst themselves in like little groups um, from what you can see through the sort of wee smog. Um, um. I'd like to do this, and then I'd like to look at Dig Dog and just sort of, not loudly, or just kind of like quietly go, uh, psst, Dig, Dig Dog, it's, it's, it's the cat, it's, it's Garm. Do you see anything weird? This is what I see, and then explain how the, the, the guard is trying to put out the fire, and I'm not seeing any bodies or anything. I'm, Am I? Uh, no, you don't. You don't see like yeah. You don't see like dead bodies strewn about the place. Um, anything that you would like consider maybe as a dead body, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was a um, from where you are. Uh, mm. Yeah. Um, what does this? What does this look like, Mangy? Does this have like a visual thing awake in mind, or what? What do you? What do you see? Um. What would you say to me? Flinch, then look up at him. I sort of imagine it like I'm looking at him and kind of it's almost like I'm seeing into his head, but I'm seeing a void and I'm like trying to think the words into his head so that I can see them. And when I see them, I know it's working. Like I'm directly sending it in there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um and yeah, Dig Dog Leo, how how do you feel like has I assume this hasn't happened before, um between you seeing as you're from another world, um Yeah. Well, I'm I'm, I'm probably just going to flinch a little bit and then look up at him because I because I'm hearing his voice in my head and he, he's staring directly at me, so I'm just gonna put two and two together here. Okay, you get a uh, fish, um. Go fish. So yeah, maybe maybe at that point, maybe that's like where Tilda kind of does like that full circle round. Um, so were you aiming to to kind of reach the same point as everyone, or are you trying to get to the other side of the the circle? Or well, I'm trying yeah. to get. Into... No, sorry. It's okay. Well, who were you speaking to? Then? Oh, Tilda. Sorry. Oh, I apologize. No, I, I want to see. If, I want to see if I can get into. Yeah, the, yeah. The center. Quite frankly, um, there's like yeah, so there's there's one gate into the center, and I think you maybe bolt like, um, that's, you know, where kind of Dig Dog Leo's kind of coming up to, when a so a, a cat when you say that, a... like if I can doodle right, so yes, you can doodle. This is like the the center, and then for the sake of a donut, that's the rest of it, right? Yeah. So if that is like the gate in, mm-hmm. right. And then whatever else is in here that's on fire and angry, right? What is the rest of like this part? How is that stopping anyone getting in? Oh, that's a big old wall. How big? I mean, pretty big. So probably about um, maybe twelve-ish feet. Okay. Like, look like double me. Oh, that could just touch the top of it. <laughs> is there any? Drainage to this wall, like grates or sewerage, yeah, or I'll like, give you the, like, there'll be like um because it's like a, a I guess like the yeah. whole thing acts as a as a sort of um gutter, so there'll be like um maybe an old little, fashioned Milton Bailey um drainage points that come come out there and it's like you know to yeah I want to go investigate that side of things in the sense of I just want to go find that and have like a look through the grates to get a look inside and. Yeah, yeah. And I just want to see, obviously, A, is the water messed up, or is it, like, water, like it should be? And throughout the, like, if I can see through the grate into the centre, what's actually going on? Is it people trying to put out a fire, or is it, like, you know, do I see clearly looking cultist people fighting? Yes, like, which is, you know, that's fair. Yeah. 
So let's, um, let's say, like, if I went around the left, right? Uh, I don't know why I said left, left anyway, but that's that was really awkward wording. Um, so if you went around this way, oops. Yeah, nice if I went around like this way, yeah, and then they went around the other way. Let's say. Well, technically, if we went around that, we w we wouldn't have walked past that, so we must have come in this way. Um. Well, hold on. Let me kind of fix this. It'd be more. Um. Oops. At daisies. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, yeah, feel free to delete all of that, by the way, and redraw if you want. I, I don't really don't mind. Um, that was just really pretty nonsense. Uh, actually, no, I am going to redraw that. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> um, you know what? I've got rid of everything I did. Ah, brilliant. There we go. Uh, so, it would be more... Right, circle. Oh, jeez. Circle. So, if you think the gate's actually there, this is the entrance you came in. I don't know why I'd risk where. Oh, I could actually do that. Use the, the thingy tool. Oh, there we go. Cancel. So, like... Right, hold on. I'm going to clear everything. Please stand by. Uh, so, draw shape. That's, that's what outer I Outer side. Do. Yes. Um, inner side. Yeah. Right, so if they walked around... Right, so if we came in this way, right? Yes. And this is the entrance way. I'm assuming the gate to the inner place would be at the other side if we had to walk around. Um. Well, it's kind of actually you didn't have to walk all the way around. So the the thing is there because you've got a you've got a north entrance, and you've got a thingy entrance, and you've got a thingy entrance to the to the town there, like that. Okay. So, if that's the case. I would have got to the gate first. You would have got to the gate first, yes. Maybe I walk past the gate then. Yeah, that's um, cool. And then you, the, the little drainage points we talked about. Yeah, cool. Because, um, um, yeah, I definitely want to just have a look inside without dealing with the gate, quite frankly. I don't think the gate's progress right now. Um, but, yeah, what do I see inside? Uh, cool. Yeah, so if you if you, you kind of look inside, it's, it's very small. Do you want to give a sort of perception-y option? option? Yeah, and obviously because smoke rises, and thus I'm not impeded in any way, because I'm so low to the ground because water goes low, I'm assuming I can have advantage on this perception. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty... right. Maybe uh, Dig Dog gets to see you do this, and as you look in, he helps you. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, if we for... say... Um, if Dig Doggly was kind of leisurely strolling, maybe he got as far as kind of here. Yeah, I don't mind if Dig Doggly like walks up and sees me crouched near the the, the drain. Yeah, I really don't mind that. I am. Um... I see him crouch by the drain, and I uh, give the uh, copyrighted Dig Doglio. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I obviously hear the copyrighted Dig Doglio uh, catchphrase. You know, dare not uh, repeat it, lest it be like... copyright strike. <laughs> I like turn on motion you to come closer and stand at the other side of the little drainage ditch. I am. Um, says, "Come help me look through here." Okay, yes, you can right. roll with advantage. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just for the length yes! that you went to. Oh, <laughs> Tilda sees all. I I it. It. Eyes see. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think yeah. So as you kind of like look through that little drainage thing, you the, like the smoke just seems to clear for you. Um, it just it just it's, it's like the parting of the seas, except it's the parting of the smoke. Um, and yeah, initially it does look like you can see like a lot of um guards and stuff. Um, you know, throwing water on fires and stuff. But as you kind of look at that, you see the water isn't actually landing on the fire. It's not doing anything. Um, and as you kind of look more, you kind of see there's weird inconsistencies with the the people who are like running around the city guards. Um, there's a weird, like an yeah. Like, does it look like the water is not hitting the right places where the fire should be, or it's not interacting the same way, and steam doesn't exist the way it should? Yeah, it's it's like you know, it's you know, bad bad um, tracking, uh, bad um, like clipping, uh, clipping. That's what I meant to say. Black, bad, like bad clipping, clipping and. Um, you know they're throwing 
the AI is throwing the, the water just places, not necessarily on the bits that are on fire. Your graphics card doesn't have enough RAM. Oh, yeah, it so... doesn't support DirectX 11, you know, it's... The... <laughs> to then clarify this further then, does it look like something obviously they're throwing water on parts that are on fire but the fire isn't reacting or is it that they are missing deliberately the water oh uh, no the, the it's it's like it's like both so um, they're not missing like deliberately they're just it's like the ai is a bit dumb and um, the actual water isn't they, they're when you see them like kind of run off into the smoke and come back with another bucket there's no obvious like where they've been it's like as soon as like the the thing is out of sight it turns around again and is with with buckets of water from somewhere um mm -hmm. but they don't seem to be collecting the water them um, they're just kind of moving around and, and they seem to be like keeping to you know a limited p uh, number of paths um okay yeah so and i think maybe you you probably see as the smoke sort of rises and stuff you see them just kind of um being materialized and dematerialized like as like one changes to full bucket mode it just the, the one without full buckets is just gone um and stuff so it's like definitely that. an illusion then from what yes. i can tell cool i think i look up to um Doglio and i say well this doesn't look quite right does it well i'm gonna peek through myself and you know what we're going two for two on this one what the fuck it, it, it's like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion AI. <laughs> I don't get that reference, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, neither do I. If you could, um, ears prick up. <laughs> could you perhaps find the cat and get in through the gate? I will enter this way, and we will meet inside. Like I just Good nod shout. to you, like firmly. Good shout. I'm gonna walk off in the opposite direction, head to the skies, looking out for that fucking annoying little cat. <laughs> The mind cat. Wow. Rude. The mind cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, instead of love cats, mind cats. Um, <laughs> Can read my head. <laughs> um, I mean, technically, you can't read your head. You can just dump his thoughts into your head. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I guess. I guess you kind of oh, <laughs> you you see that Gorm um as they kind of like look into it um. Uh, and uh, like Dig Dog though turns around and kind of looks up and sees you. Um, I, d I don't know if you give him like a a nod or something, Dig Dog or. I'll I'll give him a Star Wars nod. Good. Um, what do the guards look like? Um, from where you are, um, they just look like. Because because you're kind of um high up looking down, they just look like you know get guards with like basic mail and a helmet is there like anyone with unique armor or like anyone obviously different from them no they're all they all seem all to identical. be like the the, the same as, then, as what you would expect a city guard can uniform i see hilda right now uh do you know what yeah yeah you can i don't i don't see why not then looking at both of them um i don't know if i can send it to two people at once so i'll just Imagine I do it twice. Um, I'd like to it awaken the mind. See, so. Okay, well, to both of them at once, I'd just like to communicate that yes, Tilda won't like it, but I'm going to pretend to be one of them. Well, what is it you actually say? Because <laughs> that's a weird phrase to put into somebody's head. Or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you two, I don't know what your plan is, but uh, I plan to pretend to be one of them. Tilda, I know uh, we had our difference of opinion, but uh, here, here, here goes nothing. As you're looking at Tilda, obviously, she'll double tap the side of her head in her hood, um, and then she'll gesture to herself. To where Digsy should be, because obviously from her point of view, I don't know if she can see Digsy, but she'll motion to Digsy, and then I'll gesture with one hand and the other, like as if legs walking towards a wall, and then moving the inside the wall, and I'll give you a thumbs up. All of that is the plan 
is to get inside. <laughs> Thumbs up if you can help with that. I think Gorm would understand 50% of that and definitely sort of nearly understand what you mean. And I definitely understand what thumbs up meant, so I just naturally give it back. Okay. And then uh, assume that you really only understand 50% of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think, I think it's a bit <laughs> slow sometimes. Um, okay. Like, I imagine he probably does understand it, but he's just taking his time. Yeah. Um, Amanda, do you want to drop the actual um disguise self spell into the thingy have you have you got that on your character sheet uh, how do i do that if it's on your spell sheet you just click the name of it there you go yeah Um, and your it's spell save is... Yeah. It's really good. Um, what's your spell save? Sorry, thank you. Uh, my DC spell save. So, on it's my on core your, page. It's uh, on your... Uh, on your spells spell page. Spells. At the very top. In the middle. You've got... Uh, 13. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think maybe uh, Dig Dog Lady, you start like walking around towards the gate. Um, I assume you do as you do, Gorm. But uh, yeah, what are you doing, Dig Dog? So is Gorm turning into one of the guards that he's looking yes. at inside, or one? Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. So obviously, if I'm looking at you, I get to see that you are appearing as one of the guards. Perhaps I just uh, maybe I leave a single unique mark or something like. Uh... A tiny scratch on um one of my uh, on the one of the gauntlets or whatever that they're wearing okay. not, not, that. not a not a cartoon uh, cat yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing too obvious but something <laughs> that if you were looking for it you could definitely see it. i just leave off my fur <laughs> <laughs> i forgot to change my tail <laughs> Well, am I now able? I'm, is Gorm in my seeing and speaking to range? She yeah, you could probably you can, you can see if him. You, look, you can see him, right? You can like, definitely see him. I feel like if you were to yell, I would kind of give away. The... Well, fair enough. I, I, I don't want to yell. I just want to ask you if you <laughs> perchance saw anything over the wall that looked like there was something or someone controlling these guards to be acting the way they were. Um, I don't think I do. Because um, if I did, I probably would have communicated that. I think. Okay. So. Yeah. Um. So do do you kind of like do you jump down, Mangi, and walk around uh, Gorm even, um, and walk round to the gate, or do you just skate around the the rooftops to to get to the gate? Um. I sort of skirt along the rooftops towards the gate, and then probably just before it, like I, like maybe like here, I hop over and then I just like roughly when they arrive at the gate that's when I start pretending to be a, a guard with terrible AI like I, I imagine I walk around like a Skyrim character Um, are, so are you trying to walk in the front gate or are you trying to jump over the wall Uh, jump over the wall okay can, can you give me like a, a an acrobatics or an athletics or something um, oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Hmm, okay. Can I ask what's the what is the check for jumping over the from one from the rooftop. So the the rooftops if they're along here. That's just in case there's another mechanic. Oh, if there is um, another mechanic that'd be great. Um and it's to jump from here, well, I guess onto the wall and then down into the uh, doobly-doo. 
as disappointing as this might be, I'm just going to dump this into CC Gubbins. Um, it is from the Jumping Wheels. Yeah, I'm going to make a jump. It's, it's very long. Yeah. Should I roll with strength instead? Or... Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I did not know this. It's because there's a spell that can increase your, like, chances of this, which is why the jumping rules. Like, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I must succeed in DC strength athletics check to clear low obstacles and low tolerance. Okay, so that doesn't apply. Um, the lucky thing is, regardless of what he hits, he's got a climbing speed. So that's true. Yeah. So I guess you know right. what, like with 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 the ten seeing is, um, the thinking. Yeah, you, you kind of like jump onto the wall, um, you kind of land like cool ninja cat. Aww. Um, and yeah, you kind of drop into the other side. Um, Dig Doglio, what what do you do? You do do you just kind of what do you do? Is what I meant to say. What do you do? To... I'm trying to go around to the gate because well now he's in there then. Yeah. Well. Um. So yeah, maybe maybe you just like as he like kind of skates around the the rooftops, um, you, uh, just kind of follow on land, uh, and get to the gate. And then Tilda. I just want to squeeze shot. through the the bars of the the drainage. Uh yeah, that's fine. Uh, what are the, uh, the squeezing rules? You don't need to roll for anything. That it's just you can't um. It's just slower movement, yeah. Slower movement, yeah, that's fine. But I imagine if it's something like um, this, told us a thin elf, do you know what I mean? So if it's something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, she can like, definitely squeeze through. Um, it's not going to be very comfortable, but she can do it. Yeah, I, d I didn't expect it to be comfy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's already yeah, it's it's garbage, right? So. Um, so dig dog, as you get to the the, the gate, um, it's uh, uh so it's locked, and there's there's nobody at the gate. Does um. Gorm, do you like open the gate, or do you just them, um, or do you attempt to do anything, or Tilda even? Or I'm hoping. Well, Gorm jumped down next to the gate, right? So yeah. So I'm assuming Gorm will just before, yeah, he's way there. Yeah. Before any of that, um, I've got thief shit going on for me. So do I have like a lockpick stuff, or is it too heavy a lock to pick? Um, it's yeah. like a it's like a um, droppy downy gate, like a what's that called? Drawbridge. So like one with a big barred piece of wood. Um, like that? a portcullis, but solid. All right. Okay. okay yeah. A okay, solid yeah. portcullis. Um, but it's made of wood because it's not like a fancy gate, but it's it's like a, a just a big thing of wood that comes down, closes the thing. So in theory, you could lift it. I've got, I've got a crowbar. I could use for leverage. Mm. That wasn't a penis. That was the gate. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Um. Yeah. So maybe maybe Gorm, you kind of like land down sort of next to the gate, yeah, and there is the the kind of um pulley um stick thing that cranks the the chain that pulls up the the gate thing next to you. Oh yeah. The winch. The winch. Thank you. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, um, it's quite it's quite heavy, but you could like it's it's designed for like one person to do, so it might take you like a wee bit of time. And um, maybe as like Dig Dog was kind of standing at the gate, maybe looking at it, going, "Oh, I wonder if I can lockpick this," and then looks at it, and goes, "Oh, maybe not," and then it just starts to move. Um, very juttery. Yeah, Am I magic. <laughs> and may maybe sort of like painfully slowly at points, so like like a, a like a, it goes up quite a bit. And then it stops for quite a bit longer. Can, and then can, can I just go up to the point where I'm where it's just big enough for me to squeeze under it. Um Yes, I feel like this needs to be dangerous. But no. Yeah, you can just squeeze under it, that's fine. Um Emu and Ovik. Yes. Um I think um Could you... I um carry on opening it after he squeezed through it, just in case we need to get out of dodge I'm, I'm, you know I'm, I'm, I'm going to offer to take over from that from you because okay I very kind of 
very sweatily go, thanks a lot. <laughs> then I just go, and it's open. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I just like the image of that. Um, of you going, duh, duh, duh. Yeah. Um, so, GM, when that's me. we left the other town, did we had like a contract, didn't we? It had a sheet that we all signed. Yes. Yeah, who had that? Um, all you, had all had an in, you all had individual yeah. contracts. Okay. Um, and like you got a receipt of it, and you know, like it's that kind of paper that, like, if you Would write on it, it does like two copies. The receipt? No, each of your individual receipts would have your individual names on it. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Karen. Yes. No, I think it, it, maybe at this point, the, the 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 boy from the from the sort of. Uh, reception thing kind of comes out and locks the door um okay so you, you see him he's quite a, a, a short weedy looking you know guy mm -hmm. he's just a human kid he's just doing what he can do and he, he just starts to walk past and then he sees you and he goes uh good day and nods and kind of walks i just but... say uh i'm here for powers um, Austin. Uh, he's um. I do. I don't know where he is. He's missing. We have this cargo, and we're awaiting payment. Oh man. Um. I I really wish I knew where he was, cause. Surely, if you've been left in charge in this place, you're able to give out payment for our services. I, I don't have access to the money. I was just here to make sure that nobody was going to, you know, break the place or, you know. Did you just fucking find him. Look, mister, uh, if I... <sighs> I can't just go and look for him. I don't know where he is. Okay, so Olvek is gonna... Oh, sorry, carry on. Olvek is gonna slam his hammer to the oh, ground. God. And shout, I'm fed up of guarding these little pricks. Go and find him now. Um, I mean, he said that he was going to be back in a couple of days and he never came back and, um, you know. Where did he go? I don't know. He said he had business to attend to and he'd be back. Business. Where do you keep your money? Oh, he keeps it, Mr. Mr. Powers is the only one who knows where the money's at, Mr. Sir. I think he kind of takes like a step back, um, and like obvious, like it's obvious the way he needs to go is past you, um, but he's like kind of just taking a step back to kind of turn around and see if he can walk and away a different way going? um i need to i need to get home it's gonna it's gonna get get late you're not leaving until he comes back uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 do you, you want to roll intimidation sure <laughs> this kid this poor Can kid I stand up when you say oh my god <laughs> <laughs> um just from behind the cart you no, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll stay sitting down it's fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think, uh, oh man, do you know what? I think like, as you say, like, you're not going, you're not going anywhere till he comes back. Um, the boy just collapses. There's a strong smell of urine in the air. Oh, there's a strong <laughs> smell of every bodily fluid. There's the boy. <laughs> um, yeah. And he's, he's just kind of like passed out from fear. I think. I just sigh and then just go back to the standing guide. You're just leaving him lying in the street. Yep. Fantastic. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. Inner circle people. The inner circle. Yes. Good day. Um. I guess maybe Tilda. Um. I, I guess you can't really see the others through the smoke. Um. I I, I don't know if you um wanted to say like we'll meet at this end or we'll thingy at that end or. I mean, they all know what way I came in. I don't know yeah. what way they came in. So, yeah. You just kind of want to, like, 
hug the wall and like meet each other in the in, in the middle somewhere. No, well, not in the middle I'm of the thing, but like there. Uh, cause so, I don't think it would have taken me that long to have squeezed my way in for them to have got over the wall in and then eventually opened the gate for him to come in, etc, etc, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So like, yeah. I think while they're securing the gate, I don't know, I just want to just like, do I feel any heat from the fire or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, the like, fire is real. That is, you, you can definitely tell this fire is definitely real. It's definitely hot, but it has been like, it's not like a blazing fire. It looks like, you know, people have been putting it out and now it's just been left to kind of smolder like for a bit. Water. Like, I think to test all that out as I head closer, I'll just scoop up some of the water from, like, the drainage, and then just, like, flick it towards the flames and see if it hisses, essentially. Which it does. yeah. And it turns into steam and stuff. Yeah. And... Just so as I can kind of gauge the... Yeah, so it isn't just some kind of heat illusion. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think as soon as I learn that, I will head towards the others, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, then. cool, cool. Um, I guess, like, you, you probably pass quite a few um, guards and stuff, and they seem to kind of, like... Um, you know, shimmer and like clip through things as they're walking. They're like, I will they're not. I deliberately attempt to make contact with them. Like, I'll wave my hand through them and stuff. Yeah, and your your hand goes through them, but they don't. They don't pay you any mind or whatsoever. It's literally they're just, um, a showpiece uh, from what you can tell. Um, and yeah, you you kind of catch up with the others. The others you probably see that as well. Um, you know that they're they're kind of phasing through things and sticking to their sort of pre-programmed paths and not interacting with anything in particular. Yeah. So I think based on that, I'll just do my best to catch up with the other two. Um, as you are maybe fixing the gate so it doesn't shut over. Yeah, um, and then, you probably uh, arrive at the gate. Carry on. Yeah, I approach others in the same. Perhaps we should try and put the fire out so we can investigate further the cause of this. I would like to do detect magic and I have a thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So um, cool, cool. I guess I start maybe as I'm just walking away from the gate um, till it arrives, mm -hmm. um, and then I, I imagine sort of I wave my hand a little bit and sort of perhaps to clasp my hands in a sort of praying fashion. I can sort of see, sense magic, and maybe Tilda sees this. Um, do I detect anything? Uh, magic, oddly enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what do I see? Yeah, do so... Do they look real? Do they look like they're um, made out of magic? So, yeah, basically, every, every, like, everything that isn't you, like, you can see kind of, like, the, the, the magical, like, residue of, like, Tilda's existence and... Thanks. And the non the non the non magicalness of um Dig Doglio. Um and you can see that like the yeah, everything that's in like the sort of near vicinity of you that's like humanoidish is just made out of just magic y stuff and it seems to be that that there's this, like this concentration of this magical energy in the centre of the, the the circle thing. Um glowing oh very good um uh while, while this is going on can uh, um yes uh i think um yeah this could like um emu and ovek uh, give them like perception y weapon y things while, while this is happening yep um are they able to get advantage because the two of them are together? Yeah, that oh. makes sense. Okay, I'll just roll again. Uh, would you want me to do it? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, um, uh, yeah, you can do it. He's working too hard on intimidation. Yeah. 
Do you think the rules for that might be broken? Because that is another 15-15. I mean, it happens. It does happen. It's fine. Ignore it. I mean, uh, yeah. I know the maths. Just the maths looks fine. It's not like here have a fifteen. Um, yeah. So if everybody had rolled a fifteen this session. That would make. Oh right, way. yeah. yeah there's been there was another two that were different. I forgot. Yeah, because yeah. Luckily, anytime I get to roll perception, I apparently crit it, which is nice. So <laughs> yeah. very nice. Yes. <laughs> skill. Much to my chagrin. Um, Using magic? No. Actually, looking at things? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so I guess I guess he, like maybe maybe Ovik um you know kind of shifts in his like where, where he's kind of sat and then uh, Emu you you notice uh, that the the ears got like drastically colder um uh, it is getting like a little bit late and it you know would be normal for it to cool down but not this much in this amount of time um and like the especially with a blaze going on outside yeah, and the the wind definitely sort of changes direction from the because it was coming from the north. It's now coming from the east. So it's coming through the the, the main front gate. Um. Yes, yes, man, just like that. Um, and you feel it, Ovik. Like you're you're just so big that you just you, you don't really notice any sort of difference. You know, you're you're just so warm and just your little work. As uh, Borkers burrows deeper into my afro. Um, that gives away your position, and you get yep, surrounded you die. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> damage. It was, it was a very quiet little bork. It was a personal bork to me. Um, you, you don't don't RP my character, man. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but no, Borkers does do that. <laughs> I guess uh, Emu him stands up. How how long had it been? Um, maybe like fifteen twenty minutes. Um, since like oh. you haven't seen everyone and it's like gone drastically colder. Oh right. Okay. Why is that a problem for you though, Emu? Like, why did you need longer? No, I I it was more just like an RP. I wanted to have like a nice meditative meditative ah. rest. Oh okay. So yeah, this probably yeah, this probably disturbs you from your nice meditation. Um like the the change in temperature. Like you feel it get a little bit cold and you're like, "Ah, oh, it's fine." And then it gets like pretty chilly and you're like, "Ah." Oh. Yeah. yeah, I know something's happening. Right. Yeah. So I have to stand up. See to topic. I I suspect our friends be of uh, maybe I do not believe we can wait for the, the gnome to return to us to this day. We should uh, maybe put the poor boy back. And we must... Something, something has happened. I, I do not yeah. know what, but... So, I, I'm going to nod at him. Um, are the merchant people that we're escorting, they're in like a room, aren't they? Yeah, so they're inside like the, the sort of... Um, if you're kind of outside the quote-unquote yeah. station the, hotel. The, the I'm going to... Yeah, the coach house. Um, are they like in a room inside the hotel, or? Yeah, like if you went in, you'd see like maybe a couple of them are in like the bar area, or the, the the lounge area, and then you know a few of them have gone to gone to beds and stuff. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna say to the guards, uh, nobody gets in or out. Um, and I'm gonna take one of the scimitars that I've got and like jam it into the door, so that it's not really possible for anybody to open it. So we need to go help. Stay here and guard. Oh, okay. My, uh, my friend, um, Monsieur, I, I am uh, somewhat dis uh, concerned that these wooden buildings may become more of a trap for these people than uh, protection. If there is such a blaze in this strange climate, uh, I'm not sure if keeping them inside there is going to help. Okay, I pulled the sword out. <laughs> yep, that's fine. <laughs> and throw it back into my cart. Yep. Um, I just, I just like glare at the guards and just be like, "Don't fuck this up." I think like they give you like a very, you know, maybe a kind of reassuring nod. They're, they're, um, they've, they've, they've taken like everything you've done, uh, said to 
to heart, you know. This is like um, we, we don't want to let Ovec down. Can I? Oh, what can, can I do? Um, I think the way breaker, could you put the the boy in with the, them, I'm sure you can pick him up easy. As okay, you. I'll pick him up and I'll just put him like I'll lay him in a seat next to the bar that looks like he's just sort of passed out drunk. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think if there's any way we could like get them to give us a signal if anything goes wrong. Um, get like a tilde and doll them, or no, like oh, the guards. guards could oh, the guards. Them. Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, surely they'll have some kind of horn of some kind, right? To yeah, blow. the the, the horn yeah. of Gondor, you know. Um, horn. Horn. Oh, a, a horn of blowing, right? Yeah, what's wrong with just having a horn? <laughs> I'll just say. Make some noise if you need any help. We'll <laughs> I think they all pull out horns and go, ba ba! <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur Stonebaker, may I ask you one final favor? Mm -hmm. You see the, um, the body of the goblins that we recovered. Would you mind uh, removing a hand from it? Okay, I'll take one of the scimitars and just cleanly slice off a hand. I'd just like to take, take the hand and put it into like. Uh, okay. <laughs> you stick it, just sticking it in, like, just straight into the pack, or are you, like, wrapping it up? Or... Yeah, wrap it up in a wee bit of cloth. And then just yeah. Stuff. Um, it smells pretty bad. Um, but yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Um, I guess as you kind of leave the station bar, um, Emu, you, you kind of see that it's a bit um, misty outside the gate. Um like I kind of I say a bit misty more of a thick fog um, and you can, can kind of see the outlines of uh, um, sort of goblin like creatures um, who knows if they're goblins or not um, uh, and they're kind of like walking in the mist but they're not coming out of the, the, the fog they're they're just like the, the fog's kind of maybe you know a hundred meters away from the the gate but you could that's you could that's what you see four meters we only deal with feet in this world. Um, yeah, but I don't know what 100 meters is in feet, okay? Like 250. <laughs> 250 feet away. No, uh, I just quickly chat to the, um, the, the guards to three, people and um, tell them to be ready to move quickly if they need to. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Cool. Are you um, heading to the uh, inner, circle inner circle part, or three hundred twenty-eight feet? Well, Thank you, Velvet. Yeah. I'll yeah. head towards. Yeah, inner probably circle. just follow the way that Tilda went. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you you kind of if you go around to the left, you kind of like walk around and you see that the the gates opened. Um, Probably, yeah, was, depending on how long this took them, if depending on how what your timeline sync up is, like maybe they see I've... us, like talking oh. to each other and about to like bucket the fire. Yeah, maybe. We'd probably yeah, be hurrying. Think... We'll, well. we'll go for we'll, we can go for that. Like if you're if you're rushing as well, yeah, they you'd probably sync up where you're like, oh, we'll, we'll maybe put out the fire to get a better view I of what's going on. I planned to tell tell that that the guards are all fake and that the where the magic was concentrated. Yeah, where is the magic concentrated? Is there like a central source? Center. Yeah, that's what he said. It was there's a central source of it. Does it look like a person, or does it like also? Is it only illusion magic that he detects because he does get the skills of magic when he uses detect magic? Oh yeah, uh, of course. There's up above. Um... um. Yeah, it's um, it's it's only it's only like illusiony magic, um. And it is it's coming from the center. The actual like source is it's um super bright, so it's hard to make out the, the actual shape of okay. what it would be. Um whether or not it's like humanoid or donkeyoid or whatever, you know. What's in the center of this town, right? What looks recognizable as buildings? Like is it a black is it just houses? Is there a church? Like what's the So the the, the center center um was um uh sort of like town hall sort of council gathering um place 
you know, like a big built big building, and then like uh, on the like round the outside of the inner circle. That not the outside of the inner circle, but round the edges of the inner circle. Um, it would have been. There... Sorry, is there enough between buildings that we could get Digsy and Olvik to like shoulder tackle these flimsy wooden buildings? Yeah, to stop the fire spreading as much as Digsy. possible. Do that alone. <laughs> um, so... but no, yeah, yeah, you could. De de there's definitely like enough. Like you can, you could stop like the the fire from spreading out further. Um, by you know knocking buildings down and doing stuff like that. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, I think I'll turn to like, as I've mentioned, obviously the the bucket thing, and that's maybe when obviously. Gorm says, by the way, they're all illusions. Uh, I'm like, yes, I did notice something odd with their behavior. Of a, a guard and... walks through you. <laughs> yeah, I just like wave my hand through them. Yes, something odd. And then um, obviously we see then Ovek and Yimu run up and I see um, Dig Doglio and Ovek. And I kind of smile as I say, and Ovek, because that's possibly when he walks into my field division. I. Uh, could you perhaps try and knock down every second the building that isn't on fire to try and slow down the spread of the flames and what? the rest of us will try and put out yeah. the fires? What do the buildings look like? Are they just wooden buildings? Or are these yeah, they're just like, like wooden, but most, but they're, they're mostly wooden frames at this point. Um, there's like a couple okay. of like actual like intact-ish buildings, you know, maybe missing a roof. Um, so but yeah, it's, it's all just like, like timber. columns that are left. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna take my warhammer and swing through the columns of every second building. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great act. There goes our stealth. Pretty much just hack at everything that looks somewhat integral. Well, we currently don't need to worry about stealth, right? Like, nobody's yeah. in the center part that we can see at the moment, and there's a big clump of magic, so that we can't tell what it is. So that like, could be a person casted it. But we've all been talking, and you've cast spells that break stealth, so none of us okay. are stealthed at the moment. So, yeah. Yeah. Really um, Unless like, you want to then, no stealth. No, no. You've made the point. I didn't realize that like, we'd broken stealth. Yeah. Like, well, first of all, me and Digsy didn't roll stealth. Um, so it would just be if people noticed us moving around, and you rolled a pretty good stealth, but as soon as you cast a spell, it breaks stealth. Okay. Because it's verbal and semantic, so you start drawing sigils in the air and speaking, and whatever the other one was, detect magic, I don't know what one, sorry, the previous one, yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Because you can't hide, cast a spell and stay hidden. Annoyingly. Mm-hmm. As Fleetlight discovered. <laughs> yes, as Fleetlight discovered. Um, but you can cast a spell that's got concentration, like detect magic, then try and hide after it. Right. Okay. Yep. But yeah, um, I'm just going to go try and get buckets of water then, and do what I can to try and put out the buildings that look like savable, I guess. I'm not going to waste my time in buildings that are clearly going to burn out. Um, yeah. Um... And I'm going to hope that the two brutes that we have with us uh, can hopefully stop the spread of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess pass buckets to people that are nearby, if possible, because I don't do water magic, so this is not my forte. Yeah. Uh, we hope that we are forte. It's the big concentration of magic. Is it like... Is it at the centre of the fire, or is it not in the fire? It's in the center of the the inner circle, so it's like right in the the middle of where the the sort of town hall thing would be. So I can I start heading towards that. You certainly can, yeah. Um, can can people just like give me um like a the brutes give us like a, a athletics to knock down buildings. Um, I'm using my warhammer. Can I give you an attack roll? You can give attack rolls. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm using my fucking. Yeah, axe. that you can you can do that too, Dig Dog Leo. These are firefighters, literally. I'm gonna <laughs> put my I'm gonna put my shield on my back as well before I do this, and go two-handed with the war hammer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to, you just can roll damage and stuff like that. You're attacking buildings, let's face it. Um. You're raging. <laughs> oh fuck! Hang on, wait. Nope. No, no. It's all right. Um, Tilda, do you want to roll something to just see how long? Um. It'll take like how much time passes for you to get anything in, but don't think you need to roll bucket water, you know. Uh, sure, I will roll this to see how long it takes. It takes <laughs> one day. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to roll? Um, uh, like a, uh, I don't know, like a D. What would Just you make D20, people to roll? Maybe. Like a D20. Like, I don't know yeah. like, what to do this. I don't know if I'd make somebody roll. It depends how. Like. How did like I don't know what is the difficulty right? Is it how long it'll take? Or... It's how long it'll take, yeah. But what I mean is like, is it difficult because I need to get to certain places, or is it just a matter of time? Or are we trying to put out the entire inner circle? Yeah, mm, pretty much. Okay. We're, trying to, we're trying. We're trying to save what we can, right? Yeah. Like it's not like we've got anything else to do except investigate the middle. But yeah. I'd rather we didn't burn to death doing that. So mm -hmm. if yeah, I'm sorry. I don't Sorry. Sorry, like every my so my basic attacks to fire my fans fire because you fan the flames right <laughs> so most of Tilda is not designed for this shit um I don't know what I would make somebody roll it real I, I don't know if I'd make them roll I think I'd rather just see how people destroy buildings yeah that's but, fine um like I guess like the only other thing would be athletics to run back and forth with buckets maybe right. Um, yeah, oh, I'll just leave it then. I'm not. I'm, yeah. Um. That's a good roll, to Tovio. Um. Yeah. Do you just two want to like them? That be, you two being Ovek and Dig Dogvio, Do you want to just like just tell me? Give me. Give paint me a picture, if you will. Yeah. Of um. So I kind of want destruction of buildings around the outside circle, and I guess I'll notion to Dig Doglio to do the center stuff. I'm just trying to stop anything from getting, like, jumping over to the wall, mm. um, I guess, trying to contain it in the center. Um, anytime I see a building that looks like it's going to cause expansion of this fire, just sort of get my great and my hammer and fucking smash the any pillars or any integral parts um, and just try and collapse it um, to prevent the spread. Yeah, um, it, I don't think it takes the two of you very long to get round the whole, um, thingy because it's only there's the the buildings um kind of hug the wall, of not hug it but they they go around the wall in like that sort of yeah. like thingy leaving space for the gate, um and then the center is that like sort of town hall thing which is, um it's it's not like super on fire if that makes sense right. um it's it's sure. like burning but it's not as like bad as the outer thingies. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's what the three of us do then. We maybe focus on the town hall first. Uh -huh. And then if we if that's not a super on fire, we can try and put that out. And then if we manage to do that, Gorm can maybe go in and try and investigate. And Minimu can maybe try and help the others like, put out the, the buildings that look important enough to save or intact enough to save. Depending on what other people want to do, that's just what Tilda would attempt to yeah. arrange in her. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Help stop the city burning down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or let town city burn down, and it <laughs> could just be a, a, a new garden. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll just take a wee bit of time to clear all the rubble, and uh, well, then you'd have just like trees. nice grasslands. It's a palm forest. Yeah. Mm. Um. But no. Yeah. So that that. Um. What does them um, like Gorm and um get up to then? Do you do you go to the center? Or do you um I sort of um not sheepishly but obviously cattishly. ready to jump? Yeah, casually, very very tensely move towards the the magic, ready to jump back. Um, okay. Sort of, yeah. Um, I guess you you kind of like walk in um. You have to like go in. To, it's coming from inside the yeah. the, the building. Um, can you kind of go in? Maybe I, maybe as stealth before and then open the door. Does that break my stealth? Um, fortunately for you, the door isn't there. <laughs> okay. So but yeah, can you I can roll stealth? stealth if you want. That's that's entirely up to you. 
Um, yeah, so maybe maybe we have it that you know, we, like you you um, Tilda Emu, or I don't know how much yeah, Emu was actually helping with saving the the town that you know with his aversion to her her aversion to towns, but. Uh, um, yeah, they, I mean, we kind of just finished up, kind of stopping the the center being on fire, um, and you, we kind of like step in, uh, and it's just like it's just like a big hall, um, and in the center of the hall is just this um, uh, elf lady just sitting on the floor with her eyes closed. Mm. Um, how big is the hall? Is it dark inside? So um, light is lit up. Am I seeing anything else? It's no. It's 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 like a little bit dark. Um, no. Literally, all you can see is like it's just like a big big hallway. A big hallway. A big hall. Um, and like there's like a maybe stage at the back. Um, and maybe like a couple like seating hugging the walls. Um. Like the, the the floor is very plain. Like everything's kind of very plain. It's just like it's, it's essentially a big barn, but it's been you know, thing he does. This is the the central meeting point, um, general purpose and stage and stuff. Do I see the magic emanating from her? Yes, you do. Yeah. Um, is she wearing like any strange clothes or? No, she's like, just wearing like, like a, a weird emblem. A no, she's just wearing like a dragon. plain sort of white um. I don't want to say a nighty because it's not a nighty, um, but like just kind of like a plain white dress type thing, um, sure. sitting cross legged on the floor, um, with her eyes shut, uh, looking down. Why well, so, she's not looking down because her eyes are shut? Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Then I'd like to sneak back out and communicate this telepathically with the rest of the people outside. Yeah, that's fine. Um, maybe maybe this is kind of at the point where you you know Dick Dogleo and um Ovek have kind of stopped the the spreading as much as um, as much as they can. Um, and the, the it's looking a lot clearer. The smoke's starting to lift. Um, the the guards are still just wandering, doing their path, and throwing fake water everywhere. Um, and maybe a couple of them are having a fake water fight. Uh, one takes his top off and laughs. As the as the the spray of the water creates a sort of rainbow, um, no, um, are you watching stuff at the same time? Can I <laughs> um, no, yeah, so yes, exactly like that. Um, so yeah, you kind of step out, and I guess maybe what's what's everyone sort of doing? Are they all kind of just heading towards the center, or are they? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think if I heard a voice in my head, I'd sort of look at um, Gorman, sort of glare and growl slightly at him. I don't really like voices in my head. That is fair. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Tilda's obviously successfully fighting a fire single-handedly, according to how things seem to be going. <laughs> yeah. You did, you did great. Um, and Emu, well, how does Emu feel about having uh, Tabaxi talk in her head? I mean, probably just like um, not super taking it in, just being like, oh, of course. Um, to, to top off a terrible day, now I've got a cat in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, you do that, you do that, Gorm. Um, everyone gets your, your massage. To Does the brain. anyone decide that they want to come in and confront this? I mean, sure. Now that the town is saved, yes. <laughs> Level up! No. Yay. You've solved my fire puzzle. Hey! Um, I knew yeah. it would bring it out. That was the answer. You now have the right to challenge me as gym leader of the fire gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you've been scared. looking at my I'm notes. Come on, right? <laughs> she gives you the blaze badge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so as, does everyone kind of just go in, yeah? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so as you kind of go in and like walk up, like she's still kind of just sitting there, eyes closed, um, cross-legged on the floor. Um, what type of elf does she look like? 
um, a sort of woodish elf type person. Right. I guess sure. I that I'd be sort of next to Tilda, and then I'm gonna like draw my weapons and sort of take a step ahead of the group. Does she look like she's concentrating on a spell? Uh, possibly. Um, but um, mm. as yeah, very possibly indeed. Um, almost probable, likely even. Yeah. Um, wow. As uh, I think of it, as you do. Um, as you kind of draw your 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 weapons um and uh, your shield, I guess. Mm-hmm. And you take a step forward, her eyes kind of like thingy open, and she screams. Oh dear. Just at you, and um, that sort of kind of horrific, um, wailey scream that I'm not so going like to do because my voice hurts. Scared scream or an angry scream? Oh, or... Um, I think there's it's like a a combination of like a an angry witchy scream, okay. uh, and and like with under like. If there was like um overtones that you could hear, it would be like just like her actual voice as well, like just like a, a like young a girl's, so, yeah. yeah, um, screaming okay. at the same time. So you've got these kind of like two screams meshed into to one, uh, and we'll we'll take take a short break. Okay. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Uh, oh my. We'll be back in like ten minutes. Yep. Shaboom! Well,